I'm not where I'm supposed to be But there's so much noise around So much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty Be empty Be empty A Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. No coffee, because it's a change. Because I forget my coffee is literally just in the fridge. How are you? Message, I just wanna make you happy. Oh, that's, that's one I keep hearing. I just wanna make you happy. Maybe this is you, if you're just dealing with another air sign. Um, but I, I sense the energy of the water, of course. The happiness is related to that cup. And you really want to extend yourself. It's just like, I really just want to make you happy. I'm not here to be anything besides that. That is such a pure joy. I like that. I approve. Uh, like You are someone who, how do I say this? Who, who means well. Oh, I, that's good because it's rare for people to, to mean well. Oh. Everybody has their own agenda, which is true. It's life. It's called our 12th house. Things that we don't tell others. So. <laughs> and in your end, that's your Capricorn. That's Capricorn is your 12th house. Yeah. But yeah, you were just coming up front. Um, the way I'm looking at it is like you were being honest. You're being legit. You're being the realist with this person. I'm not sure why my left arm is numbing. Okay. I think that's just an omen. Not having a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> Is it left or right? Uh, something numbing. So you're probably numb already from pain and you're like, uh, I just want to be happy with you. I just want to make you happy. You know, that's good. I like that. Wonder how this person is taking it. Yeah. I sense the person is having financial difficulty. Yeah. Normally I see coins. Right now I see just, I don't see coins on them. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it's not you. Okay. But it's 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 a it's a moment of I feel like someone is waiting for their paycheck. I was like I'm just waiting to get paid. I don't need to get laid. I need my, I need to get paid somehow, because <laughs> that pays the bills. <laughs> All right. So I sense that one. Mm -hmm. I sense here that you can also be trying to consult other readers. Yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing it here. You probably just book an appointment. Okay. To a reader, I'm seeing it here. Um, something is going to be given to you by that reader, so that's good. Uh -huh. Very enlightening message, yes. Maybe this is that one also. Okay, considering I do read, guys, I do read. Okay. <laughs> so, something empty is going to be fulfilled at the same time, you know, in this connection that you guys are having. Um, the half empty, half, uh, you know, half empty, half full, whatever glass that is. I never really bought the glass, so I don't associate with that whole, you know, half empty, half full. I just like to have a bottle of water. How about that? You know, that's why for me, it's like, let's just be practical. If you want love, you want love, express it, give it, and then that's it. Okay. Express it and give it. Look at that. I didn't say take it. You want love, give love. Okay. That's why they say give love on Christmas day. <laughs> Hi, Priestess. I always, okay, get this with, with you guys. I don't understand. Hi, Priestess with the Hermit card. Okay. And we've coached you, watched the previous episodes of this channel in the 7,000 videos that we have. Okay. Eight, I think now. Um, Hi, Priestess with the Hermit card. No communication, definitely, for sure, between the two of you. Legit. Okay. This is not a Five of Pentacles kind of no communication. That one comes from a low, lower energy kind. Okay. Not to judge, but normally that's like just a discomfort between the two of you. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to talk to you. This one is like trying to get a feel of each other. Like you guys have this weird, quiet zone. Okay. It's like a library, you know, like there's, you know, it's just like when you come in, nobody should be talking loudly like there's a side it's not a silent treatment i'm feeling here because 
this person knows that there is, you know, like the special connection between the two of you, but they feel like you're hiding, they feel that you're hiding your feelings from them, and then it goes for them also. So this is where the whole quiet, uh, you know, being quiet between each other here. Of course, there is the veil. We've, we've talked about it already. The high priestess knows about divine timing. Okay, and divine timing is knowing when the planet is aligned. Then you know, like what I mentioned, you we're very particular when Mercury is in retrograde. We feel it. Don't you ever feel when Venus is in the second house? Venus is in the third house. Moon is here. All those. If you're conscious about it, then you know what's going on around you, and you don't have to be a. You don't need to predict anymore. You know. Okay, you know when. And that's that one, High Priestess. The Hermit, though, um, can be someone who's trying to connect with himself, finding the light, healing, Virgo energy. You have a Pisces over here. But both, I feel, can be going to some sort of retreat and recover. Okay? The Hermit can be feeling very depressed right now. That's you or that's them. High Priestess is not, though. So it's like, I know how I get myself out of the situation. Okay? Ooh, King of Coins. Well, at least they, they are not, they're not having problem anymore with the coins. Um, if the hermit um, was, is the same vibe, you know, Virgo energy, Earth, okay? They were trying to find a solution, chances are to their stability, yes. Um, meaning, um, I feel like they want to be, if they're going to commit, they want to be confident in the commitment. They want to be able to treat you, you know, to the very best that they can. No, I'm not sugarcoating it because the King of Coins does have stability with regards to their finances. Um, they are responsible with their time. They are committed. Okay. So when they went on hermit mode, they know they couldn't provide this. So you're just looking for a commitment. You're talking to a person who doesn't have anything to offer because they don't know themselves. Yeah. Mm. So it's going to be useless waste, uh, waste of time. So then you have ignored the situation. High Priestess, you went also on that. All right. You don't want to talk to me. Nothing to offer to me. All right. Yeah, I'll deal with it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I go in I go in airplane mode also. High priestess. Yeah. Now, as this person comes as a... Oh, look at that one. King of Pentacles with the strength. It can be Leo, right? Now, they're gathering up the strength and courage. The hermit is nowhere near any kind of courage. You know, courageous enough to commit. Courageous enough to express themselves. No, hermit has nothing like that. They have the wisdom, they have the knowledge, but they don't have that effort, no. Because that's what they, you know, the duality of it. They can be spiritually aligned, but not, um, you know, financially aligned. This is a person who's, a, you know, who's, who choose, okay, you know, like um, a very different route of life. You know, not a hippie kind of way. They just don't resonate with coins and stuff like that. They just like to go with the flow. But now they understand, like, if I want to be in a relationship or, you know, the Aqua wants partnership with me, I need to step up. I need to show them that I am responsible for myself. You're talking to a person who's trying to build himself so that they can be in a commitment. I feel like you are the high priestess. Strength card here is, as, you know, it's like you were not taming the beast. They were doing it on their own, okay? It's like they went on a, what, self-transformation, uh, self yeah? That's good. Hello, ready. I'm a ready, come and ready, I'm a ready. I think that's a song, right? I think Ariana Grande, ready, something like that. I can hear it. Okay, or who knows what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not the dead. Okay. <laughs> it's too early for them. Normally they talk at night. <laughs> Four of Wands energy here um, shows that they got what it takes now to express, to provide, to commit, like what I mentioned. Took a while. Took a while. It took that whole um, soul searching, go within, healing, processing of emotions in their mind, and where are they in their life right now? You know, and they find themselves that it's just like when you were being patient, you, you were not being patient with the high priestess and saying, you know, I'm gonna whisper to that. I know you were manifesting. You will keep praying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four of Wands is here, showing now they're ready. I told you. Mm -hmm. As they are ready, now you're being patient. <laughs> because Sal says, like, no, you're not being patient. Sal was being patient. 
I was being patient praying, going to church, you know, doing my remedies and ritual and, you know, working with the moon and, you know, constantly thinking of positive affirmation and, you know, it's like talking to my guides and my intuition, asking them always, you know, day on every day. Okay, and talking also to other readers and watching all, all this guidance, self-help books. That's the only thing I was doing, Sal, behind the veil. Yeah, not much. You just basically <laughs> use all the divination tools and be patient after it. That's good. So it's one thing. Okay, let me, let me teach the aquas over here. It's one thing to know how the universe works and apply it. A lot of people knows how it works, but they never really practice it, okay? Once you know, you practice, it grows. Seven of Pentacles waiting for a relationship to manifest to grow. You're there. You're already invested. Let them be with the hermit. Let them be. Mm-hmm. There'll be change. Yes. Alrighty. So, I'm going to continue this reading, Aqua. Link down there in the description box for the extended. Hopefully, I'll see you there because hopefully this person, okay, that you've been waiting for, finally, well, I feel like it is. They have the strength already. It's already there, okay? I'll see you there. Bye, guys. Hello, frequency. Okay. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> not I guess, I get, like pretty much, you guys. When the high priestess knows, the high priestess knows. They reach out. They come back after that whole... Uh, the strength card, woo, Knight of Swords, and another one under the fourth ones. Magician. Take over, scene 15, take one. The world can use more silence. There's too much noise that drowns the wisdom that lies unbidden in silence. It's not entirely our fault. We grew up realizing that making a sound gets us what we want. Infants crying when they are hungry, bored, need of a diaper change, or sick. They get what they want when they make some noise. So our instinct is to talk or ask someone to talk when we want something from them. When we want a response, when we want a reaction, when we want their attention or even forgiveness. When the other person doesn't reply, we interpret that as anger or coldness. But silence could simply mean they are healing. It is in silence that we hear our most enlightening thoughts. It gives us the opportunity to hear what our heart, our mind and spirit is really telling us. Walking away from the chaos doesn't mean escaping or abandoning the people. It means we are reconnecting to the deepest part of ourselves. Every moment we spend for ourselves is a time of healing. Someone is not talking, someone is healing.